This week, it's a Lucasfilm animation spectacular, right, Chopper? I think that's a yes. Yeah, but there's a more polite way to say it. This week on the Star Wars Show. Andy sits down with Forces of Destiny's Ashley Eckstein. An exclusive behind the scenes clip from Star Wars Rebels Season 3 and much, much more. Now, from the Lucasfilm headquarters, it's the Star Wars Show. Hey, I'm Anthony Carboni. And I'm Andy Gutierrez. Welcome to the Star Wars Show, a show that is taped on a Monday and airs on a Wednesday, because nothing happens with Star Wars afternoon on a Wednesday. Ever. Let's go to the news. Can't think of a single thing. Nope. <laughs> Last week, Lucasfilm announced that Ron Howard will assume directorial duties on the untitled Han Solo film. The Academy Award-winning director, whose resume includes such critically acclaimed movies as A Beautiful Mind and Apollo 13, Lucasfilm's Willow, and as producer on the hit TV show Arrested Development, will resume shooting on the untitled Han Solo film in July. Star Wars Forces of Destiny dropped a brand new trailer yesterday. The series of animated shorts featuring the voices of Daisy Ridley, Felicity Jones, Lupita Nyong'o, and more will release on Disney's YouTube channel on July 3rd, with the first eight getting a broadcast release July 9th on Disney Channel as interstitials. For more information, literally keep watching the show, because we have Ashley Eckstein on the couch in a few minutes to talk about reprising her role as the Clone Wars era Ahsoka for the series. Finally this week, the third season of Star Wars Rebels is coming to Blu-ray and DVD on August 29th. The Blu-ray is packed with special features, including five featurettes, the complete third season of Rebels Recon, hosted by the lovely and talented Andy Gutierrez, <laughs> and for the first time ever on any season of Star Wars Rebels, audio commentaries from Dave Filoni and the other members of the crew for select episodes. Speaking of, would you like a sneak peek at one of the bonus features from the disc? I sure would, Andy, but where would we ever find one? Right here. Just watching the Star Wars show. She's a character that comes on the scene in Return of the Jedi. She's not in any, either of the previous movies, but she carries tremendous authority. The Emperor's made a critical error and the time for our attack has come. Then there are some deleted scenes where she's in the prequels and you see her as a senator. To stop the Chancellor from further subverting the Constitution. We even had her in Clone Wars uh, as a senator. So we haven't told a story with her here. So what is she like, and is that relevant to our rebels? And Hera is a high-ranking member of the Rebellion, so maybe it would be have a lot of value for Hera to meet Mon Mothma. Let us be of assistance, Captain. Hera, the woman who you're going to help, looks up at you. So you're very heroic in this moment. So I think we want to project some sort of strength here as you kind of enter this room. Let us be of assistance, Captain. Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. That's no moon. Round of applause! The Star Wars show <laughs> has their first repeat guest! What's up, what? Ashley? Oh, wow! It's true. You're the first person to come back twice. Wow! That is such an honor. Yeah, like not even Dave or Pablo. They've only had one interview, so... I cannot wait to tell them that I... Yep, I have something on them. <laughs> so you've got some exciting stuff going on right now. Forces of Destiny. What I love about Ahsoka and Forces of Destiny is it's during the Clone Wars era. I spent so much time with Ahsoka in the Clone Wars era, and I miss that time. Yeah. I mean, that's the Ahsoka that obviously I bonded with the most. And, you know, there's still so many stories to be told. You know, we get to find out more about her relationship with Padme and even more with Anakin. That actually brings up an interesting point. It is actually dealing with real plot points within Star Wars that actually have an effect on, on the characters. Absolutely. These are moments that easily could have been in a Clone Wars episode. One of the scenes that I recorded was a really nice, touching moment between Ahsoka and Padme. It was almost like an extension of that episode. And so the whole family is going to love these shorts together. Mm -hmm. And trust me, the one that I I just recorded, there's going to be some adults watching that saying, man, oh gosh, I almost gave it away. <laughs> I just stopped myself. Good catch. I could hear Dave Filoni in the background saying, Eckstein, don't say that. <laughs> um, but yes, there's information in there that everyone will want to know. It's such an honor to play Ahsoka in anything, but to be a part of a project like this, you know, especially me coming in in 2008 when the stereotype right. was that Star Wars was for men and boys. It it was truly groundbreaking when Ahsoka came out. I mean, people she was, did not like her. No, they did not <laughs> like her at all. I read many of the message boards, had many tears, ate many a donut. It's amazing how much it changes, <laughs> though, because now she's one of the most beloved characters. They just wrote a really strong character. Like, they never even pointed out the fact that she was a girl. We got to experience the Clone Wars through Ahsoka's eyes.
And so I feel like that's also why there was such a strong connection with Ahsoka. Everyone felt like they were experiencing the Clone Wars with her. While we live in a world today where it, it is, you know, very supported that Star Wars is for everyone, there still are girls that are bullied for it. There still are. There's still girls that go to school with their Star Wars backpack and they get bullied saying, oh, well, isn't that a boy's property? I am longing for the day when we don't have to have that conversation. Yes. And I really do feel like we're getting, we're, we're getting, getting there. there. We're almost there. Yeah. And this is gonna, this is gonna make huge strides in making that conversation go away. And, and soon the only conversation will just be that Star Wars is for everyone. Very exciting. Always new exciting things going on with you. It's always so good to talk to you. <laughs>